Hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. Alright, Survivor assessment video, here we go. So, the Survivor from Real Survivor that seems to be my playstyle would be Tony. He's crazy, he's locked, but he knows to, you know, slip in when he needs to be. So, he's flexible, but he knows when to make the deal. So, for three qualities for me, smart, charismatic, and more and help. So, if I don't win the first Real Survivor, the one that I really hope would win would be Yinny. Because, well, he seems to be taking this game to heart, so I really hope him for the best. How far will I make this thing? I'm hoping for the final, but realistically, I'm just hoping the game can do the jury. Because, you know, that way, I hope to determine the winner of this thing. And why did I think I, I would win Survivor? Well, Virtual Survivor? Well, I'm most unassuming, so no one would know when I actually make the move. So... I'm really that little wild card that no one knows about until they make their move. Next we have Thomas, who I'm, I'm actually really excited about Thomas. Uh, it's not more of a bold personality, more of a confident personality. Thomas seems like a very confident person. He also has a, a YouTube channel, which is actually bigger than Survivor Geeks. So I'm really excited to see what happens with his channel, even though it's not Survivor related at all. He uh, could be targeted just because of his popularity compared to the other cast. So if he really, uh, he can really mold the cast into whatever he feels like it. If he wants his YouTube channel to take over and be the main focus of his game, then he might be gone early. But if he kind of puts that on the back burner, doesn't worry about that at all, stays a little bit less confident than what he should be, I feel like he could absolutely run the game. And uh, he could he could be a real threat going into the merge. 